Hello, it's Diane, and I'm back with the second junk journal. If you saw the previous journal, or the second Halloween junk journal, I should say. If you saw the previous video with the Halloween journal called The Book of Secrets, I briefly showed the cover, which you probably will not recognize. It was completely black, and this flower was embossed, but it was very hard to see it. So I rubbed my Inca Gold paint on it, on the embossed part, and then I decided I needed to put a wash of gold over the entire cover. So I uh, watered down the Inca Gold and then just brushed it over. <coughs> Excuse me. And I kind of like the way that looks. It, it does look eerie, but um, I don't know. I, I like it. And the back I just brushed with the paint. And it has the Uniquely Handmade Limited Edition stamp. There are book corners on the front and the back because the corners were shabby. And um, there's some lace here. And it's got a very thick chipboard and Tyvek spine covered with this pretty scrapbook paper. It's, it was a thick cardstock type of paper. So it's, it's pretty sturdy and it's got three signatures. These images here I cut from one of the papers and I'm looking to see if I can find it and I don't see it but it was a graphic 45 Erie Tail paper and it had all these images all over it like a printed design and I just fussy cut some of them out and scattered them around and then this is an image that I stamped and cut out and I stamped the word Erie with my alphabet stamp so here's the cover and let's go inside and, and I should say this book is um, already spoken for it will be reserved for her in my shop and if she doesn't like it for any reason she won't have to take it and then I, I will just open it up to anybody <clears throat> so inside it has many of the same elements as the first book but obviously it's smaller let me see how big it is it's five and a half by eight and a half the other one was over 11 inches tall. So inside front cover has skeletons and there's some ghosts here on the spine and the back cover is just this pretty green pattern. I was just using up leftover papers. So here's one of those cards that I mentioned in my last video and showed and I only had two. <coughs> the other book has three of them but I only had two left. So that's that creepy girl that turns into a creepy clown. And there's some muslin and black lace there. This is a piece of scrapbook paper. It was Halloween paper, but this was a ledger design. And I just put a tab on it, and it goes right in there. There's some stenciling, as before, some stamping, and some lace tabs along the top. There are six of those tabs. Here's a trick-or-treat bag glued onto some pumpkin paper and some Tim Holtz trick-or-treat images for journaling. The other book had uh, Frankenstein out of an, a book about old Hollywood, and this one is Lon Chaney as Dracula. There's a piece of vintage ledger and a little image from a children's dictionary about a jack-o'-lantern. Some stamping here. There's a chandelier stamped up there. There's that piece of Halloween ledger paper. You'll see the image on the other side. And a strip of um, Tim Holtz words. It says spider webs. And a Tim Holtz Halloween postcard image. Oh, it goes that way. It's a witch and a cat and a pumpkin man dancing. Interesting. This one has rickrack and two pieces of fabric and part of a crocheted doily that I look, thought looked kind of like a spider web. A journaling spot here. Lots of room for journaling. There's a, a page from a children's book. This has poems about jack-o'-lantern, Halloween witches, some uh, Tim Holtz letters glued to the strings. There's one of the border punch or edge, edge cuts that somebody sent me. I think I said maybe Jill Robertson, but I'm thinking it might have been Lee Pogue. So somebody sent it to me, and I really appreciate it. They look really great in these books. 
There's the other side of that Halloween ledger. I love that cute little kitten in the jack-o'-lantern. And the scroll work here. Just really pretty. There's some glitter on it. Here's another uh, collage with cheesecloth, fabric, and some Tim Holtz images. And it's a tuck spot for this little Tim Holtz card, which is stitched to coffee dyed paper. There's a lot of stitching in the book, and it's all black thread. <clears throat> this has this um, music paper. It's actually scrapbook paper, and it's kind of grunged up a little bit. And this lovely image. There's a little thumb, pun thumb hole punched right there. <clears throat> and then this is a scrap of paper that I just distressed the back of it and then glued on another of the fussy cut images and a Tim Holtz card also stitched to copy dyed paper. Here's the other side of the Lon Chaney paper and there's some journaling spots glued on. This has Tim Holtz image and some lace as a corner tuck and a tag from the Graphic 45 Eerie Tale. <clears throat> this is just a scrap of copy dyed paper glued on for journaling and the word pumpkin up here and then some images of pumpkins on vintage postcards. There's some gathered muslin here and some fabric, some ledger, and this image of a witch that I fussy cut. And the background is witches' hats and cauldrons. Here's a Tim Holtz word, October. This was sent to me. Fur of werewolf, 100% fresh clipped werewolf hair imported from London. <laughs> so that's a journaling card and a Tim Holtz card stitched coffee dyed paper. This is punched with my Martha Stewart drip punch and a fussy cut witch. <clears throat> Here's one of the Cavallini, I'm assuming they're Cavallini bags that Julie Mangold sent me. That's the last Halloween one. A tag and a Tim Holtz image. There's some leftover scrapbook paper. I just love those owls. I, I turned them into a pocket. It blended in with this color, so I stitched a little strip of black paper to the top to make it stand out. These are not stitched copy dyed paper because the backs are light enough to be journaled on. Um, the customer who wants this, <coughs> excuse me, who wants this book um, wants to put in images of her grandchildren in their costumes, I presume. So there's room, lots of room for gluing in pictures and for writing about them, journaling about your Halloween um, traditions and whatnot. This is a page from a children's music book about autumn, the, or the, the song was about autumn, not the whole book. It's a little tiny Tim Holtz image of an owl on a jack-o'-lantern, some stamping up there. Some of the Tim Holtz birds stamped across there. This was my friend's uh, mother's quilt scraps. Mo a lot of the fabrics in here are from her quilt scraps, but this one was two triangles that are already pieced together and they're fall colors. So I stitched them up here with some rickrack and another piece of that spiderweb doily web doily. Some ledger is glued onto this paper. It's scrapbook, scrapbook ledger actually, or graph paper. Um, the Tim Holtz shattered Stencil. Looks like a spider web. Stamping. Here's a page from the book about the seasons of the year. There's some gathered black seam binding and some rickrack. And here's the image. Young men and women looks like in the 20s or 30s. Uh, on a hayride with jack-o'-lantern causing a lot of ruckus it looks like. Somebody's got a horn back there. And there's a man driving the the wagon with horses. He's got a whip in his hand. Uh, I used to go on hay rides, but it was pulled by a tractor. Never did a horse-drawn one. 
And there's the word pumpkin and a poison label, some seam binding and rickrack. Oh, that's just stitched on there. And there's a de another definition from the children's book, spider. There's a <clears throat> three-layered flower. Someone had sent me the pieces and I just stitched them together. And there's the Song of Autumn. I, I would have put that together with a brad, but I didn't want the brad to cause problems with the 3D. I just love this image of the skeleton walking with purpose with a trick-or-treat jack-o'-lantern. or it looks like he's trick-or-treating, but it might just be that he's holding a jack-o'-lantern. But I just thought it was cute. And here's from the Children's Dictionary, a picture of the moon. The other side of the Cavallini bag has a ghost tag for journaling. There's another graveyard scene. And this Graphic 45 card that I love says beware. And there's a layaway ticket in there. Signature 2. I'll try to go a little faster in this one. There's uh, the second. Oh no, this is the third signature. There's that guy and a postcard. Some cheesecloth and lace at the top. Some fabric, muslin. It's another picture from the children's poetry book. There's some black lace and orange ribbon here. And this, these poems are My Pumpkin and Very Nice Jack-O-Lantern. There's a couple of journaling tags from the Graphic 45 paper. Some lace here. This is a stamp that I have. I stamped it on coffee dyed paper and cut it out. It says treasure the moment. This is a border stamp. More drips. This pretty paper. Love those images. Another stamp cut out. Here's that chemistry set um, stencil that I had in my other book and I didn't have this ready to show you, but this is the stencil. It came with a little tiny booklet for a, um, I think it was from Elmira um, School of Nursing. Um, I don't, it might have been St. Joseph's School of Nursing in Elmira. Anyway, this came with the little booklet and that's why I bought the booklet at a flea market. I just wanted that stencil. So I rubbed my Concord Grape Tim Holtz ink through the stencil and then also drew around it with my Micron pen. Lace and gathered muslin. Trick or treat here with another tag. Another page from the seasonal book. A brief history of Halloween. So I left that there so you can read it. I like this image. The lady is looking inside her jack-o'-lantern. There's an image of some kids trying to get an apple. It's hard to get when you can't touch it. There's a little black sack and I adhered uh, Tim Holtz postcard, yeah, Halloween postcard image. And there's a Tim Holtz trick-or-treat bag image. Another trick-or-treat bag with Tim Holtz trick-or-treat images of bags. More poems, The Friendly Ghost and Scary Eyes. Cool, uh, Coal Black Cat and Witch. If I were a witch, I'd ride on a broom and scatter the ghost with a zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> Cute. Some fabric. There's one of the triangle cut pieces and some black lace. A little pocket with black cat paper and there's a little black cat directing a chorus of jack-o'-lanterns, it looks like. And this is a Graphic 45 card that was sent to me. I don't know what set this came with. I didn't have this set. Raven Feathers Prescription Druggists. And there's a spider tag. There's a skeleton on the back. A library pocket that I decorated with Halloween paper. And I had a scrap of this 
so I just rounded the corners and put it in there and there's a library card. There are eyelets in the front and the back with the seam binding to tie it close. So this one is called Eerie. Thank you for watching.